lose an awful lot of control of your club and you're going to lose a lot of speed. So when we get the fingers moving correctly, fingers, and that's why we talk about the actual, what we call the towel drill, which is really quite good. If, you, if you're actually bringing a towel out, what are you doing? We created equal and opposite. What does equal and opposite do? Equal and opposite gives us stability. If we've got that pushing the same amount, give, that's what you like to do in your putting. Keep the club face stable, move it. That's what we're always trying to do in the putting. But we should always be trying to do that with the club face as well. Because if we've got too much movement in the club face, we've got a lot of movement out there. So how do we keep the club face stable and just worry about the direction that we're swinging the club? Equal and opposite. So that's why I'm saying fingers are so important in the grip. I know that the, the actual club goes into the hand, right? But if you look at it, what's holding onto this club more than anything? The fingers, right? Where's all your feel? The fingers. So we want the fingers to be able to understand how the fingers are going to help us to actually get the proper loading. The fingers, so important. Fingers. So obviously, when I get fingers on this towel, imagine this is a towel and I'm bringing him out, I've got equal and opposite, left hand's going to the right, right hand's going to the left, equal and opposite, so what does that do, fingers going, this finger's going right and left, the club face stays stable, so on the way back my fingers are working one against the other and the club face stays stable, I see far too many people on the range opening the club face, closing it, getting so many inconsistencies in the movement of the club face that they have to have wonderful manipulation and eye coordination to get it back. Wonderful. So understanding how we're going to keep that club face stable but still have a lot of movement in the wrist to give us the power and the shoulders to give us the power, equal and opposite. So I said to the right, I want you to actually imagine you are your grip is a towel and you're going my fingers in my left hand are squeezing that way, that way. And then the club face is nice and stable. So when we're doing that, we're wringing the towel as we're turning. And what that does, bring the towel, it helps you to spiral your shoulders. Because your fingers are going this way. So your shoulders are going spiral as well. So all of a sudden, just the finger movement, finger movement telling me what I need to do, is helping you to get the consistency. Right? Fingers all the time. Move the fingers. When you're chipping, how many of this is important as well. When you're chipping, how many people do you play with? Oh, that ball checked on me when I didn't want it to check. It's released on me when I didn't want it to release. <coughs> and I say, well, the ball can't do it itself. You must have done it. So you must have actually had the wrong technique for running it or checking it. So do you understand how to run it, how to check it? So that's the first start in a golf swing. Right. If I'm chipping, I want to make sure that I'm chipping it, I'm chipping it to run. If I'm chipping it to check, I want it to, I want it to check, so you can hear it. So what do the fingers do? Think about how I would move my fingers. I'm going to roll it to, to this, out towards uh, Nick. Right, my fingers to run this ball. What would they do? They move down. My fingers to run the ball, move down, right? If I wanted to check the ball, what do the fingers do? I can check it. I'm putting spin on the ball, yeah? So when the fingers are moving properly, now from here, my fingers are moving for a running shot. It's gonna run all the way down the hill. And then for a check-in shot, these balls don't check much, but fingers going down. And you can hear the noise. It's checking all the time, and it's flighted differently because I've delivered the blow differently. I've delivered less loft for a runner, more loft. But also, what I've done with fingers, I've put check on it almost by the fingers moving properly. So, obviously, the runner is basically the draw shot. The fingers going this way is basically the fade shot. So I need my fingers to be in a position where I can draw it or fade it. Because my fingers help me to move the arms on the club into the path that I'm actually going to move 
the actual club to to hit shapes. So fingers are so important and making the fingers move correctly. So I've just shown you this club face stable there, equal and opposite. If I wanted to guarantee that the ball moves a little bit right to left, I'd move the fingers in the same direction anti-clockwise. I get a little bit of close face, but only slightly. And then clockwise, I move my fingers the other way slightly. So sometimes in the, when you're playing really well, you can feel the fingers moving that way for a draw, that way for a cut. And where's all the feel in the fingers? If you throw a ball, do you throw it out the middle of your hand? No. If you throw a ball, your body knows where to go to throw the ball that way and then that way the body's going. I'm not telling my body to do it. My body is moving in the direction because my fingers are saying, right, that's where I want to go. It's sending the message to the brain to actually move the body in position. So if I give my fingers the movement for a draw, my body will all of a sudden go that way. If I move my fingers for a fade, my body moves. It's virtually like throwing a ball. Your body will actually respond to the correct way.